Hello everybody, Fade over here. Welcome back to another rent a girlfriend reading. Uh, this time shit's gonna get wild with Kibe and Mami and uh, Ryuji baiting us once again with another cliffhanger. But before we get into that, I do want to mention something really quick. So I am taking up editing jobs right now and I'm gonna have a fever built up soon. So if anyone wants me to do editing for them, contact me on Twitter and let me know if you need any form of editing done because right now I need to pay some bills so you know, gotta put my editing work to, to good use so if you need anything again let me know on there and remember subscribe do all the shebang lebang thank you very much all right let's mosey Woo! okay 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 Rishi's like okay okay here you go I, I've, I've cucked you guys enough I'm gonna give you something nice to make you feel better enjoy in your dreams I'm all yours go ahead and imagine your perfect girlfriend why does that sound way more ominous than it needs to? This needs to stop. Also that face, oh my god. It just screams chaotic energy. I control this room. I know what you want. I'm gonna take it from you. At least Kazuya's sleeping comfortably. Also, oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, this girl's dummy thick. Colonel, I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick. And the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. Nah, <sighs> tactical underwear. Miji Mei Riji, Chapter 175 The Girlfriend and the Sigh. Okay, more ominous signs. I don't like that. Okay, Riji. Fuck you. <laughs> Guilty of attempted confession. <laughs> Guilty of attempted confession. Kazuya, demoralized, grumbles drunkenly into his drink. OBJECTION! Fuck you. <laughs> I love Ryuji, he's so good at this. Post-confession, Kazuya's summary. When I was at Sazi with Mizuhara, she asked if I liked her. The conversation kind of got away from us. On the way back, I nearly slipped and confessed to her. Just then, Kibe showed up, and I guess she ended up not hearing me. <sighs> That was close. Sheesh, how are you even supposed to confess to a girl anyway? Just casually toss it out there, Kazuya, thanks. What? You're cheating? You're a dirtbag, man. You cheated just recently, too. I did not. We just talked online. Wait, is that Kibe talking? Huh? Wait, Kibe has a girlfriend and he cheated? What? Confusion intensifies. But yeah, when you're having moments when you're thinking like that, it's because you're frustrated. Just chill and stroke one out to Chizuru's son. Kibe needs to be stopped. <laughs> Nengu, the newbie, played from a famous high school baseball team, number seven, left field, loves the singer Miyawa. Can I have the fried shrimp tails? What is with this crew that Kazi is in? They're all fucking weird. <laughs> God damn it, fuck you. I'm so jealous of you. Go bald already. I want to hear your bitching. What's with your mood swings? Hey, you must have done it already, right? Yeah, yeah, what did you say to her anyway? I don't know that I'd call it confessing. More like, I accept the terms and conditions. <laughs> Not sure I'd call it dating either. I, I think that's enough about me now, guys. What? Are you embarrassed? You're lame, man. Seriously, fuck you! Hey, are you gonna eat that? Screw, bro. For the longest time, I've been in love. She heard that. Huh? You're in love with me? What's that supposed to mean? The Mr. Potato Head look. <laughs> oh my god, what is this comedy? What part of Rental Girlfriend do you not understand? How many times do I have to tell you that you and I will never happen before you get it? And for the longest time? What? Like when you were making the movie? Is that what you were after? What, you think because I shed a few tears that means I opened my heart to you? I can't believe I was stupid enough to believe you're doing it for my grandma's sake. You're a horny little monster. I I'm sorry. I'm moving out tomorrow. Never speak to me again. I can't imagine a single good outcome from that. I tried to be cool about things, but I almost wrecked everything. I know I was just answering her question, but why the hell did I run my mouth? What are you, a cat? 
I drink two beers and suddenly I'm full of myself. Hey man, like a courage. But I'm just at my breaking point. All these feelings, this desire to go out with her, it's gonna explode. I know a girl like her would never date a scum like me. The audacity to think that we could be together. Ugh, I'm so shameless. But my heart is screaming. I want to be with you. I want to be with you. I want to be with you. But it's hopeless. For scum like me, it's completely hopeless. I've been over this. I've been over this a billion times. Wait, he's talking out loud. <laughs> but no. <laughs> I'm so glad you showed up. You saved my life. Sorry I was mad. I love you, Kibay. I love you, man. You're an absolute nutcase, dude. You're the one with the mood swings. Oh, right. I forgot to mention it, but... What is it? Tell me. You can tell me anything. I had a meeting the other day with Negami-san, and, uh, Mami-chan was there. What? Oh, boy. Here we go. Why? Nagame-san said she wanted to bring in another advisor. I never expected I'd be meeting with Mami-chan. Grandma brought her? How? Where'd they meet? I never introduced them. She said she DM'd her on Twitter. On Twitter? Wait, wait, wait. Back up. Grandma and Mami-chan know each other? If she wants her as an advisor, she'd have to know each other pretty well, right? Did she contact her through the store Twitter? That would mean... She knows! <sighs> Kazuya putting it together real quick. Okay, so, Mami-chan, what does she want? Well, don't get me wrong. I was suspicious at first, too. Well, the question we're facing right now is one of meeting user needs. How do seniors of today want to find love? Well, then if I may, I have a proposal. I think you should give serious consideration to developing an app. Data shows that adoption rate of smartphones with today's seniors is 77%. We're looking at a five-fold increase over seven years. Smartphones aren't just for young people looking for hookups. Your users are looking for love the same way. Assuming you're fine with something basic, you could make one for approximately 1 million yen. When you look at the potential future values, I think you'll find it's absolutely indispensable investment. This is really weird. Here you go, guys. Here's just some statistics I looked up. Yep, absolutely. You're full of surprises, mommy don't know. Hmm. What? R really? You're saying she knocked it out of the park? It was supposed to be just an orientation, but she had some serious constructive input. She did her homework. Seemed seriously motivated. The fact that Negami's son vouched for her as an advisor carries a lot of weight, too. Interesting. She's motivated, huh? Mommy's really committed to her plan, wouldn't you say? Wait, 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 wait. All that aside, why would she specifically contact Grandma? My boy's catching on. There's a lot of there's a lot of red flags here. I'm going home. See ya. What? Why? You're killing the mood. Drink, drink, drink. I've got a seriously bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about this. The next day. Damn it, I keep calling, but I can't get a hold of her. Did she go on a trip or something? I really hope she didn't just tell her right away. Jesus Christ. God damn it. I can't stop thinking about what happened yesterday. Is she just interested in the job? But no, that wouldn't have come up when she DM'd her. Why the hell would she be reaching out to my grandma? I doubt she knows Mizuhara and I are still seeing each other. And back then, she said she wouldn't tell anyone. <sighs> Huh. Ah, Kazukun. So it begins. What? It feels like I always end up picking up your textbook. Is that supposed to mean something? Yeah, that's right, Ryuji. I'm looking at you. Mommy chun! Speak of the devil! But wow, you know. Here. Oh, thanks. Pay more attention, okay? It's been a while, huh? How was your summer? But wait, this is my chance! Uh, hey, I heard something from Kibe. Oh! Oh, about Grandma Negami. I'm really sorry. I wasn't trying to cause any trouble or anything. <laughs> Dirty. She knows what she's doing. I've been really into sake lately, and I just happened to find Negami son's account. I figured if she was your grandma, she must be great, and I thought I'd pick her brain out about sake. I, I see. Sake. And then it got to talk about managing the site, and we hit it off. Imagine my surprise to find out Kibe Chan is the site manager. I was thinking about making it my thesis topic. Thought it would make a good challenge for the future. Was that okay? No, yeah, totally. 
Grandma seems livelier than ever, too, so... I've kept us a secret. Well, it's not like it was anything worth talking about, right? But yeah, the job's been kind of fun. I'm pretty dumb, but maybe I'm good at this business thing. And I thought Chizuru was an actor. Holy moly. Yo, is there something like between Chizuru and and like Mommy? Is this supposed to be like symbolism of how Mommy like falls deeper into the madness while Chizuru slowly overcomes her uh, her problems and her insecurities? Hey, that could be an interesting, interesting read. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, you're not dumb. Come on, you don't doubt me, do you? No, not at all. No, not at all. Well, I'm gonna knock your socks off. Looking forward to it. No. I'm getting everything ready for next week's app discussion, so I'll be ready to talk again soon. I'm in danger. Thanks, Freeji. I needed to see that. All right. Mmm, yeah, this shit's happening way sooner than I expect. Jesus Christ, what the f is that mommy face? Lord! Ugh, she's so beat. Am I being too suspicious? Maybe it's just like Kiba and Mommy Chun said. I guess there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> That's way too funny! <gasps> hey, I know you, Kazuya kun. Uh, hey, you haven't been getting plastered, have you? You were a wreck last time. Probably shouldn't be playing Niyoki anymore. <laughs> M Mizuhara. Ooh, she's giving him the she's giving him the cold shoulder. She doesn't want to show it. Iron Lady's back. Let Let's go. Eh? Okay. What's gotten into you all of a sudden, Chizuru? I have a lecture to get to. Huh? Come on, you've got time. Oh, she's trying to avoid him. I feel like she's still conflicted. We'll see. I've got to talk to her. She needs to know about this as well. Yeah. No, that has to happen at some point. Probably maybe next chapter. We'll see. But she seems kind of cold, huh? So then Takekun's like, I can't go to the bathroom. What? He doesn't look like it. But he's got a cute side, huh? Is that supposed to be a shout out to Kazuya? Uh -huh. I know they're talking about Takekun, which is the dude with the mohawk, but... Come on, come on! Huh? He totally looks cute! For the longest time... I've been in love. <sighs> Lots to take in with this one, fellas. She's clearly frustrated about it. Whatever that frustration means, it could be anything but... But... She is blushing. Oh no, there's only two pages left. Shit. Never mind, it was one. A relationship in motion. An ex girlfriend in motion. Kazuya's love life is in tangles. Next time, Umi kun. Imada. Umi kun. Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! Okay, okay. Wow, Rigi's really playing with fire today, isn't he? Let let a candle up under my ass, why don't you? Please, Jesus Christ! All right, Rigi. Wow. That's fine. What a f cliffhanger. <sighs> okay, so there isn't too much to discuss in this chapter. It was mostly like a, a setup chapter to kind of transition you into the next arc. So I'm not really gonna make an analysis based off of this. There isn't really much to go on. Um, the only things I wanna like point out is um, how s there is like slight mirroring in some of the things that are happening. So like, as I mentioned, I noticed what's interesting here is that mommy is sinking deeper into the darkness while Chizuru is like figuring out her insecurities and trying to deal with them or understand them. I also wanted to point out how my
Nami's gaze is a good example of her refusal to understand her emotions. Her stubbornness is dragging her down into a void of emptiness where she's left feeling miserable and sad and wants to drag everyone down with her. This gesture she makes towards Kazuya further solidifies that as it is her trying to gain some semblance of control over Kazuya's life as she knows she no longer belongs in it. Again, the complete opposite of Chizuru who has essentially become intertwined with his life. The fact that she had control over something and willingly threw away that control then lost it completely is driving her insane and she wants to take it back at any cost. She can't stand the fact that Chizuru essentially fixed Kazuya and Kazuya is moving on without her. The paneling right after we see Mommy's gaze is also interesting because it points out how Kazuya is moving forward and how Mommy is walking backwards and it is shown to you through the image of Kazuya walking towards the camera while Mommy slowly walks away and them wearing black and white to symbolize how their perspectives are completely different from one another. They're essentially night and day. Chizuru is clearly interested in Kazuya, but she's clearly also perplexed about the situation. She doesn't know how to feel, or maybe she doesn't know if she can give him an answer. We can't really know until she tells us, uh, but she does know and she is blushing, so that is an indication that she also does feel the same. She also has been acting different, and there was a recent interview with Ryuji where he says she is acting different because she's coming to terms with her feelings that she might actually like Kazuya. Yes, this was an actual interview. Uh, I, I can maybe try to find the link and put it down below. So, uh, yeah, they're gonna get together at some point, so the relationship, they even say in this, the relationship is in motion. Uh, the, the Kibe being in a relationship with Mami thing, that was just the bait, we got, we got clickbaited. I also like how Ryuji is constantly joking about the fact that he clickbaited us, but, you know, that, that was great, like the intro line where it's like, guilty of attempted confession, that was, that was great, that was a really good gag. I like the little scene where they're talking about Takikun, and then it's just like, oh yeah, uh, Takikun's super cute, whatever, I'm like, that's solely a joke to call, towards Kazuya, like, come on. And then she has a flashback of Kazuya, please. Mommy's a great fucking actress, holy shit, she played it off really well. Um, I'm curious it, what's gonna happen next chapter. I think for next chapter with Umikun, he's not a threat. We all know he's not a threat, but he could be a good example of a misunderstanding where um, Kazuya sees Chizuru with Umikun because he's trying to talk to her and he forms a misunderstanding in his mind of what's happening or he doubts himself even more in the process, kind of like fueling the, fueling the divide essentially, where because the divide is constantly getting fueled by all these other sources, it eventually has to break just like Kazuya says in the beginning of the chapter where he's just like oh, my heart's about to burst I need to let this know I need to tell her I want her yada 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 and so I think that's what's gonna happen next chapter with Umikun where it's just gonna be like this build up on the divide and basically it's just gonna fuel the fire that's all what's ha that's all that's happening is all these situations are just fueling the fire to eventually force them to come together or at the very least talk about their feelings and sort out how they feel and eventually transition into dating because otherwise it's just gonna get all messed up and whatnot but yeah so next chapter probably gonna form some sort of misunderstanding get ready to feel a little bit cucked maybe umikun will actually come up to kazuya and be like yo blah 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 or maybe umikun will not even interact with kazuya let alone chizuru we don't know anything could happen so yeah uh we'll see where it goes from there mommy's a oh, jesus christ why is she such a good actress what in god's green earth this is this is legit terrifying this is legit terrifying like she actually gave chizuru a run for her money on how good she's acting right now like jesus christ I like that Kibe is also suspicious, but he doesn't act on it. it I like how it shows Kibe is a little mature too. Oh, I guess I can comment on the very last thing. Chizuru with undies is OP. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! Okay, so that's all for my video today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed my little quick analysis that I did. That's all we're going to be doing for this time around. I have a lot of things I'm working on. As I said before, I need to pay some bills and do some things. So if you really want to help me out, maybe like uh, shout me out to some other people and be like, hey, this is a really good editor. He's good at doing his editing. <laughs> um, also subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, do the bell icon, all that stuff, shebang la bang. Thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, I've been Fate, and remember, shout me out to everyone you can, if you need editing yourself, also let me know, at some point I will start a Patreon as well, because, again, bills, stuff like that. So, thanks for watching, I've been Fate, and let's mosey. <clears throat> I'm trying again. Let's mosey.